going on guys it's Mazda Monday and it's uh, pretty much midnight barely made it so um, unfortunately my website is not up today um, I tried to get it live and everything but something happened with the uh, the credit card processing the products won't post yet so I think I need to wait until that all gets set up and then I'll be able to have the website up and yeah I'm just kind of disappointed I didn't get that up today but um, as you guys know, um, we were, were limited on fuel for superchargers and, you know, guys have been trying to get aftermarket um, low pressure fuel pumps because we don't have a replacement for the high pressure fuel pump. Um, but, you know, after doing logs on the aftermarket pumps and, um, you know, stock pump and then the, the upgraded LC500 pump, um, we actually found out the LC500 flows more than like the DW300. So, yeah. So pretty much, you know, that, that pump, um, the stock pump pumps out 31.4 MPA, which is the amount of pressure. That's a lot of pressure. Um, and when we put the DW in there, one of the guys put the DW in there, he got it up to like 32.2 or 0.3. Um, and with this aftermarket, all right, with the LC 500 pump, it's around, you know, like I said, 30, it's around 31 and a half, whatever. But we found a little hack because one time I got one of the, uh, fuel pumps and it was the wrong fuel pump. Cause I've been ordering used ones. Um, I actually ended up getting a hybrid, um, Toyota pump from a, uh, like a RAV4 hybrid. And what I noticed on the top of that pump, it didn't have um, the check valve, the one-way check valve. So there's on the top of these pumps, I'm going to show you in a second, there's a one-way check valve. And pretty much what it does is let, you know, just the flow of fuel go one way. And that prevents, you know, like when you turn your car off, the fuel going back down, um, down the line and back into the tank. So pretty much this helps your car be able to start quicker because during priming, the line's already full of fuel uh, because it didn't flow back in through the pump and into the tank. Well, on the RAV4, obviously, since it's a hybrid, um, you know, it has, it starts with its electric, electronic motors. So it doesn't necessarily need fuel in the line to get the car running. And so I found that interesting um, that it didn't need it. And, you know, we're still limited on fuel. So I'm like, well, if if it's not going to be a negative impact not to have that check valve on, like while the car's running, um, it looks pretty restrictive. Like, why don't I just remove that and see what happens? So I had another member, Austin, um, remove the check valve because one of his pumps failed um, and it was due to electrical short. So he had a damaged pump and I pretty much told him just remove that check valve off the damaged pump um, since it's not going to sit in there correctly anyways. And um, we had done logs before, a cold start log, with the, the previous pump in there. It was another LC500 pump. Um, and like I said, the uh, logs show 31.4 MPA. We put the, another LC500 pump in there without the check valve. And then the, it went up to about 32.5 um, MPA, which is uh, substantial. One MPA is a lot of pressure, guys. Um, so we were able to increase the, the fuel rail pressure by one MPA, which is huge. And so that's pretty much what I'm going to make this video about today, since I still don't have the website up, guys, um, unfortunately. Uh, just so it's a little short video for you guys who are getting ready to install your LC500 pump. I don't think anyone's going to have an issue with their car um, sitting for a while and not have a fuel in the line, because usually even it, there's still always fuel in the fuel rail. But even if you don't have that check valve and the fuel is going back into the tank, all you have to do is when you start the car, when you double tap into accessory mode, wait like two or three seconds so it can fully prime. Um, I'm going to test it out to make sure it doesn't have any issues um, with turnover and whatnot. But like I said, I already have another, another member, a um, guy that I tuned with that pump without the check valve, and he had no issues so far. And his fueling has improved a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm talking about with the check valve. All right, so obviously these are the LC500 pumps and this is my stock pump. Um, this, the LC500 pump is actually um, also the pump that is used in a GR Corolla, all right? 
So when I'm talking about a check valve, if you shake these, you hear this little noise in here. Um, there's a check valve. So if you look at the top, there's this little white, um, you know, thing in there, plastic ring. Um, and it just keeps fuel from going back in through here and it keeps it going one way up to the uh, high pressure fuel pump. So there's a little brass thing in there with this soft white ring, right? So this kind of obstructs flow, you know, especially in a situation where we're trying to get maximum amount of flow and we do not have any plug and play bigger pumps that I know of. So, um, you know, I ordered two used pumps because I was supposed to be sending it to a member and one of the pumps came damaged. So what did I end up doing was since the pump already came damaged, I just went on ahead and removed the, um, the check valve. Now I'll show you in a picture, but there, the RAV4, um, hybrid comes without the check valve. So I figured since this one already had a little damage on it, I'm still, it's still good to use it. I'm going to go ahead and install this in a car. Um, without the check valve, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a cold start um, in my car just to confirm, double confirm the fuel pressure before I change it. And then we'll see because I'll prime both of them a few times and start it up when it's cold to see if there is a difference with the pressure. I'm pretty sure there will be. So that is pretty much you know, all we can do on that low side. And as we all know, the high pressure fuel pump, we tried to do actual replacement um, this guy, one of our members that I tune, um, he tried to use an Acura replacement from a TLX A-Spec. And when we plugged the other high pressure fuel pump in, instead of the pressure being like 31, 32 MPA, it dropped down to 26. So that was a no-go on that. And that means pretty much that the piston in here um, displaces more fuel. And maybe the cam on the... Um, the Acura probably is just a bigger um, lobe on there that's pushing this a further stroke on that Acura pump. So normally, like on Mazda speeds, like I've gone over this multiple times, there's there's this piston that's in here. So we, we're still looking for a replacement for the pump. But at this point, I'm almost giving up because some of these pumps, you cannot take them apart like you can the old Mazda speed. So the next best thing we can do is find a uh, a higher use a higher profile cam lobe, which I know that uh, the turbo 2.5 turbo they come with a higher profile cam lobe than the NDs. But what I need to confirm is is if the cam lobe um, on the exhaust cam lobe to push this pump is going to be bigger on the NA 2.5 or on the turbo 2.5. So that's what I'm trying to find out right now um, on the Mazda speed. So if you want to see what's normally under the spring and whatever, so there's a piston. So here you see there's this this thing right here. It's called, I'll show you how similar they are. Hold on, give me a second. Let's show you. So this came from my Audi, right? And this is what's usually under this spring. This is obviously an older 2006 um, high pressure fuel pump piston that I replaced. Um, I replaced it with AutoTech, but under here, you pretty much use this tool, push this down and unlock this. And what's under here is this little thing and your piston, all right? And it's very tightly sealed, and this is what's, every time the, the cam follower, or like the cam lobe for the fuel pump, it strikes this piston, and this is what drives fuel into the fuel rail, because this piston is just being hit, and it's spring-loaded, so it bounces back into position. But as that um, the cam-driven lobe is spinning, it's hitting this piston up and down. All right, and that's gonna like push fuel into your fuel rail. So we don't have a fuel pump replacement. We tried, it didn't work, and we can kind of keep testing different fuel pumps, but the problem is we don't know what the piston size is gonna be once we open it up. Um, so unfortunately, the one in the Acura was not big enough to flow more. We can try a couple different other pumps, but it's, it would be a waste of money to keep getting all these pumps um, when we could simply just make sure we measure cams, um, different cams. Because right now I know the 2.5 has the biggest cam lobe for this fuel pump. So what we're going to try to do is get that exhaust cam lobe um, bigger so it can push this with a longer stroke to get more fuel. So yeah, guys, pretty simple today. Um, I'll leave some links for my website. It's not up, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to get it taken care of because there's just some, I don't know what's going on. I'll have to call in the morning. 
but yes so um this is probably like the last modification i'll be doing to my car um is i mean it's a free mod so i'm just gonna pull out the check valve like i said i already pulled it out of this one so this one's going in the car this is going to a customer but yes removing the check valve will give you a little bit more flow so yep that's all for today Also, one last thing. I know some of you guys were um, not too happy about the price increase for the uh, supercharger kits on the U.S. distributors website. So I talked to him last week. He gave me a code for you guys. Um, and the code for is 250 off the kit. So it brings it back down to normal price, guys. So um, I'll leave the code. Um, I think the code sauce. Um, I don't make money off the code, guys. Um, but I just want you guys to be able to get that same price that um, was offered last year. So you guys can use code sauce if you are interested in getting the kit without the prices hiked up. So yeah, guys, um, yeah, I don't make money off of that. I'm going to make my own money on my website as soon as I get it up and running. But uh, yeah, I just want to throw that in there. And thanks for your support so far. I know it's kind of redundant that I'm on here just talking again about the same stuff. Um, after everything gets up and running, I will have way more content for you guys. Hopefully more turbo content. Um, one of my guys that was supposed to get his turbo, um, actually his car got totaled, so that's been postponed a little bit. Um, and I'm still fighting the 2021 battle, like always. Um, we're almost there though. Just uh, it's just been a journey, guys. See you later.